Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubberstein. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is actually continue my last video number 266. Video number 266, I was share with you how to prepare your magic mushroom and some basic blending technique by using Local King's magic mushroom. I have uh, received a lot of uh, feedback from you guys. Thank you so much. So today's video I actually created for you. I am going to answer all the questions that I have received and then hoping those answer is uh, the answer that you are looking for. Okay, so how are we going to celebrate uh, celebrate Local King's 5,000 YouTube subscriptions? I was thinking I was going to I was thinking maybe I should prepare some giveaway gift or but I was mentioning in my video because most of my viewers they you are already Local King's royal customer. So if I prepare some um, stamp set or some product, you probably already have. I think the best way to celebrate is that I will provide a five, uh, four fifty dollars gift certificate. So I will choose for lucky winner in my coming video soon. And then for the rest of them, that's celebrate together. So I'm going to offer a special promotion for two days only, but I'm going to just hold this celebration for a while. We just finished the spring promotion and uh, you probably haven't even gotten your orders yet. I am the person I would like to all my customers use what they buy and create some project first, not just selling and selling. So that's just a postpone or celebration for a while, maybe next month. And then I am going to offer a very, very good deal for Local Kings customer and the Local Kings Royal viewers. How do you think? I think you guys probably more happy to receive a Local Kings product than a ready gift, right? Leave me a comment, let me know. And then I think it's a good idea just to hold this promotion for a while that you digest a little bit what you got first and then we are going to celebrate together hoping that makes sense so let's start today's video and i hope you like it okay thank you you guys send me the uh, email and ask me the question so now i know what kind of answer you are looking for so that's a start with the first question. And remember, if you haven't got a chance to watch the video number 2666, watch that video first and then watch this video is going to more make sense. Okay, so that's a start something first. Remember, I have a three set of ma magic mushroom. This is the set that I use uh, all the time. I have been using this set for almost two years and they are still in the perfect condition. They just look a little bit dirty. And then the middle part is the one um, last time was uh, was just using it. And then the last one is brand new from the box. And then remember my black magic mushroom, I was a uh, dipping them in the water after a few days you see they already come back to original shape so don't worry about your magic mushroom they are different kinds of sponge and then they will last for a long time don't worry about that so when we want to uh every time when you want to use your magic mushroom see already kind of missed a little bit you know even though the surface you feel a little bit too much water but they take a time to sunk in so so they take a time to sponge to absorb the, all the water so just to spray some water and the leave there is not going to damage it's just give it a little bit love okay so the first question is what happened if i want to apply very very light color okay so remember my video number 266 i was share with you how you can start to do the blending by using one color so i start with the um uh, orange color and I kind of just give a foundation coat and then i kind of block um like a cover half of them and then i use the same color keep dipping the um the impact and the continue blending and then it end up to have at least a solid um orange color right so the question is uh, well what happened i want to have a very very light color okay let's do a little bit refreshment so that's making your magic mushroom ready to use first. So if you want to have a very, very light color, you got to make sure your magic color, ma magic mushroom is clean. So I kind of absorb a little bit. I just spray a little bit color and you can just use a wet cloth to kind of clean the tip, absorb, you know, and then use a dry wet cloth. 
it's very important to have a dry wet cloth. The wet cloth is just kind of like a um, remove the surface, the ink. The dry cloth is really do the cleaning job. So you kind of just uh, use the dry cloth and the kind of absorb ink. It's still after you dry it, they still feel a little moisture. Um, it's really hard to describe what is the moisture enough. Okay, so we're gonna start with the towel. Let's see. So you can see um, after I clean it on my surface, uh, on the paper is uh, barely have any color, right? So any kind of tool you got to kind of give a little, a little bit practice and then you will become the expert. So the first question is, Lisa, I want to have a very, very light color. So what I'm going to do? Okay, so my magic mushroom is clean and I go blending some color and uh, mm, it's not a very smooth. So here is the, like I don't have a too much ink on my magic mushroom and you see the way I'm blending and it's not a smooth. So what I'm going to do? Okay, here is the trick. Like I say, ask me the question. I will provide the answer for you. So we come to just uh, kind of dipping a little bit or spray, uh, we don't spray with water. Okay, let's do this one. So instead of we dipping the color, apply directly on your paper, we are going to just uh, spray with a little bit water, not too much. Find the good mist bottles, okay? And then I'm going to just, uh, Use my magic mushroom, not too much. We have to testing, right? Always start from the um, corner and then see, I can do much smooth blending, isn't it? If you want to be like a more lighter color, you kind of just remove your ink on the table. You want to have a more water instead of uh, the ink. Okay, so let's just grab one more sheet here. I am going to actually kind of prepare my magic mushroom here. Okay, and I'm going to just spray with some water. And then if you're not sure, you can start by tapping first. See, is that the color you want? See the color? Actually, tapping is actually very, very good idea. Okay gently tapping 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 and then you can remove a little bit extra ink so here is the light color and the very very smooth isn't it okay and then you want the more lighter what you can do is uh, and I am not using expensive car stock. This is just a Michael's recollect recollection car stock. See, very, very light color. Okay, it's really hard to describe how, how much is, uh, is enough. When you rubbing your color, um, because this is not expensive uh, watercolor paper, right? So they maybe curl a little bit. That's okay. After they dry, they will come back to the to the um come they, they will become flat again but even when you are rubbing if they kind of create like a damage your surface that means it's too much water okay so here is how you do the light color if you want to add more we can okay see i start like a tapping first and when you tap like i say this is magic mushroom you can decide you hit hard it's become darker you release uh, release a uh, uh, relieve a little bit pressure kind of like a brushing like a glooming okay so you just uh, gradually start on one corner okay and then see how pretty those color it is it doesn't leave the mark you know what but be honest with you you got to practice a little bit you know and feel this sponge and uh, i am sharing the the great techniques with you and uh, it's just like any kind of tool you got to practice a little bit okay i kind of use enough water i even spray the water on my um on my paper um it curve a little bit. You, I can see there's a lot of water moisture there, but it's not like a, you know, like a 
bend over. Okay, so let's do that. And then in the center part, if you want very, very light color, don't go dipping your, your, don't go dipping more ink. Okay, so if you want the light color, remember what you have to do, spray some water here and then pick up some ink and then tapping on your, like a table, a glass or acrylic, blo uh, acrylic block and then kind of just a blending tapping. Only the sponge pop part, uh, like a head, you can do the tapping, like the brushes, you tap it, nothing going to happen. So drawing a circle, if they have a little bit too, uh, so just be gentle if you want a very, very light color. I think I should spray a little bit of water is actually a good idea because I think that blending much smoother. And then your table have to be clean. If your table is dirty, sometimes when you blending it, you actually like a bring those kind of crumb or whatever, and then into your, your artwork. And then this is just a cheap car style. If you use a better quality, like a, a Kensan watercolor, they take the ink better. You can blend it better too. So here is the answer for the first question. If you want to do a very, very light color, miss the color on your paper and then, you know, prepare your ink pack on your, um, your table, um, a silicone mat or piece of color block. Okay. And then more water, then more ink. And then start tight tapping and slowly drawing a circle, kind of blending. You know, you will get a guarantee you kind of feel those sponges. It's not that hard. Look, this beautiful. I just think it's a sunset. And if I want to add the more uh, red, I can do that. So hoping this is the answer that you are looking for. Let's move on to the Okay. So the next question is, can I storage the magic mushroom when it is still a little bit damp? I don't find that that's a big issue. You know, um, it, what I do is I always just leave my mattress on, on, on the table. I don't really put it back to the storage. If you are not planning to use your magic mushroom, you um, just wait until they are dry. I don't know where you're living. If you're living somewhere is hot, that won't be a problem. If you are living somewhere is moisture and then you put something moisture stuff in the container, I think maybe they are going to have some mold happen. So if you are not planning to use it, just a way that I learned complete uh, like a dry, like, um, like dry and then you put it back to in the storage. I think that's a uh, totally safe. Um, if you lay a little bit still uh, moisture, um, I usually just leave uh, on my desk and, and anyhow I want to use, I just spray with some water. So you can see, I actually spray some water and then so they, when they are moisture, they are work much better than when they are dry. Okay. So that's the second answer. You can, but, uh, we don't really want to grow up the real mushroom, right? Because the moisture probably was somewhere dark and then maybe next time you, when you open your magic mushroom, they come, they have a two, they have a baby magic mushroom. So try to storage them when they are dry. But if you are using constantly, I don't think so. That would be issue, but we don't want to smell it. We don't want to put anything damp or wet stuff in the tight container on we? Okay. So that's the second answer for your question. Hoping that makes sense. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one is, can I use uh, those uh, magic mushroom on the distract ink, um, pigment ink, and uh, oxidized ink, and uh, alcohol ink? Oops, sorry. Alcohol ink. Actually, you know what? Treat your magic mushroom like uh, brushes. Anything you don't do with your brushes, you don't do with the magic mushroom. Treat those mushrooms like your expensive brush. Okay, you can using the magic mushroom for the distracts uh, oxidized ink. I'm going to show you. Actually, this is the one I just created with the oxidized ink, which actually they blending very well. But the problem is, you know. There's two kinds of impacts on the market. The most popular one, one is dye-based ink and the one is the pigment ink. 
What's the difference between dye-based ink and the pigment ink? Most of the dye-based ink, their finish is kind of like a felt. Most of, most of, okay? The most of the pigment ink is kind of like those kind of sponge, those kind of foam, okay? So you can use your magic mushroom with the oxidize, but this oxidize is kind of, it's kind of, like a both is kind of like a fell and also kind of like a sponge so you can use your magic mushroom with oxidized ink with the pigment ink with the um, dye based ink and i'm going to talk about the alcohol ink but the problem is after you finish how clean you are going to clean your magic mushroom for the dye based ink water based ink it won't be a problem because it's a water base right the the worst thing is your Mushroom is just absorb the dye, ba uh, dye based ink is not going to um, damage your magic mushroom. But oxidize ink is kind of like a half and half. It's kind of have a, like a pigment inside. So and it's also like a pigment is kind of milky. So if you leave one of your pigment impact out and then like if you want to kill your impact, just leave it after when when they are become completely dry you can feel that sponges become so hard and then um they won't like uh, even you soaking the water or whatever they will will not come back to the sponge shape right so same thing is the magic mushroom you want to use the magic mushroom on the oxidized ink or the pigment ink after you use it you got to make sure you clean your your mushroom well you can wash them but it's really worth all the trouble you know after you use it because these like a uh, this one let me see already they already absorbed i was using this one with the oxidized ink and i was kind of cleaning a uh, uh, blending and then after i finished blending i kind of mix with water and dry with my tower few times and then when i squeeze my sponge i can still see that milky green pop out so if those uh, impact is stay on your mushroom, like on the surface, you go in, so go in. If it's stuck on your surface, they will become harder. And the ones that when they become harder, this is it's just like a brush, you know, you don't, you cannot paint a nice stroke anymore because you lose that softness of your sponge. So, but you can use it. I'm going to share, I'm going to show you how I blend it with oxidized ink. The most important thing is after you finish blending, how well you're going to clean in your um your sponge. If you cleaning clean them well, they will be fine. But if any pigment stuck on your magic mushroom, they and then they 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 dry, they will become harder, and then you won't get a, like a hundred per hundred percent performance anymore because your sponge is no more you know in the hundred percent perfect shape so it is very safe to use a dye based impact distress impact distress distress impact is dye based um memento is dye based uh, Cl uh colitis is a dye based so just make sure when you want to use the impact is the sponge finish so you have to have a kind of you know um, wondering, you know, maybe this is the impact and after you use it, have to clean very well. Okay. The other question is, can I use the, the uh, hybrid, hybrid ink, hybrid impact? Same thing. The hybrid impact is kind of like a distract oxid, uh, oxidize. It's kind of, um, dye in the pigment. Okay. So, you can use it it's just after you use it you got to clean it well don't let any um those ink stick on your magic mushroom like i said you can wash it but it's just after you wash it, it take a while to completely dry and then don't wash too often because i was just showing you what the magic mushroom looks like right so every tool have their purpose to do the things um you just have to make uh, the decision what you're looking for they isn't they, i cannot say no they cannot 
they cannot use the oxidized or pigment ink. They will, they actually blending very well when you use the oxidized. It's just the most important thing is that after that, you got to make sure you clean them well. Okay, so let's do some blending, see what the oxidized um, ink uh, look like. You know, I don't even have a one hybrid ink pack. I heard uh, a lot of good things about that, but uh, I don't have one. And then those the districts oxidize, I actually have a few, but uh, today is the first time I'm using <laughs> those ink. Okay, so because I was mentioning those the oxidize ink is kind of like a pig, um, like a pigment ink, right? So you can see they actually you can you can tapping it, okay. And then the coverage is actually very, um, very well. You start with a harder color, um, like a darker color, you push harder, and then you release a little bit pressure. See how easy I, um, I can do the, like a blending. And then once after you tapping it, I am going to just use the, my mushroom, kind of gently drawing a circle. Remember drawing circle is the best way to blending it. Okay, and uh, see, it took me not even five seconds. I blend like that. If you want to use the brush, it's kind of take a little bit longer. Okay, and then from the light color to the dark color, don't you worry, they will be work just fine. Remember, always start from the corner. You hit hard, it's a darker color. You release a little bit, um, release a little bit pressure, and then blending again. Okay. When you blending, you really have to feel it. You know, if you push too hard, they still show the mark, but you kind of holding only like a, put a, only 30% your pressure on your macro mushroom, and then they can blend in very well. Drawing a little circle, if there is some kind of darker line um, show, you can go back to blending again. Okay, and then that's just miss a little bit water. See what's happening. Okay, we miss a little bit water, and then that's do a little bit more blending. Okay, sometimes you know on your magic mushroom, if it is too moisture, you know that's it. When they are too moisture, um, when they that's the show. What's the, what do I mean? Okay, so. It make a difference when your matching mushroom is uh, dry. Okay, so this is a kind of like a dry matching mushroom. And now I'm going to make a little bit moisture. So I kind of spray a little bit water on top and then, but I don't want it too wet. So when you see, when your matching mushroom is a little bit moisture, they can blend in easily. So blending, it's depend on what you're looking for. You want like a very thin layer. You want a very rich color. You can just keep adding the add, adding the color. So here is the answer. Can I use the the magic mushroom with the uh, oxidize or the pigment ink or the hyper ink pad? Yes, you can. But the problem is, you got to clean your magic mushroom after you use it. So here is the, the mushroom I want to clean it. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to wash it. I kind of just spray some water and I'm going to use my dry cloth and make sure I really squeeze clean the surface because I don't want any of those impact, uh, ink, pigment ink is stuck on my sponge because uh, after a while they keep deposited and then your sponge is going to be very, very hard. Once when they become hard, that's it. Say goodbye to your your magic mushroom. It's like a brush. If you use your bra, um, your paint brush to paint in the oil oil painting or acrylic painting or the glue, if you don't clean your brush well, even like the house painting brushes, okay, you use the paint and then you didn't clean your paint uh, brush well, and after a while your paint brush is dry. No matter how long you soak that brush in the water or the paint thinner, will that brush come back to original shape? No. So treat your magic mushroom like your brushes. The things that you don't do to your brushes, you don't do to your magic mushroom. Does that make sense? Hope so. Okay, so let's move on to the next. 
Okay, so next question: Can I use the magic mushroom with an alcohol ink? Yes, you can, but there's always the but. You know, the alcohol ink is kind of like a permanent permanent ink, right? So if you use the、uh, magic mushroom on your permanent ink, what's going to happen? The color is going to st、uh, stay on the your magic mushroom forever. But since my magic mushroom is already very very colorful, let's give it a try. I have never tried the magic mushroom on the um with the the alcohol ink alcohol ink. So I don't know do they blend or not. I don't think so. They will blend, but let's try. So this is my magic mushroom. But you never know, right? We just got to try to find the ooh ooh. Not able to oh open it. So that's、uh, and also the um the alcohol ink is dry too. Oops, the alcohol ink is dry too fast. So I don't know. Can we blend or not? So let's see. So I am going to. So I'm going to just.、Uh, Try some alcohol in, and then see what's going to look like. And also, I won't, I won't recommend that you use your magic mushroom with alcohol in because they really going to stain your magic mushroom. And I know a lot of you guys have a two set of magic mushroom because, and then you never try it because they look so pretty. So that's the. And also, I think you will waste a lot of、uh, your magic mushroom. So this is what look like. Basically, your sponges absorb all of your mat,、uh, your alcohol ink. So I don't think so. See, I put some alcohol ink, and then actually, all the ink has been absorbed by the magic mushroom. So the answer for can I use the alcohol ink with my magic mushroom? Ah,、uh, my answer is no. But if you come out with some awesome idea, you know, don't hesitate. It please、uh, share with me. I will not recommend you to use the the、uh, alcohol ink with your master mushroom. If you already use it, you know what? The good news is, it's not going to damage your ma、uh, magic mushroom. You can continue um、uh, to use it. Just have to wait that that alcohol ink is completely dry, and then you can still using your light um light yellow is not going to affect the result. Okay, so remember, I will not recommend、uh, alcohol ink with the magic mushroom. I'm hoping that makes sense. Okay. So the last question is、uh, how to blending the color on the glossy cardstock. So I have created a video, video number one thirty eight, and please watch that video because I did a review for ten different kind of cardstock. Some of them is glossy paper. Some of the paper you can find from the Costco. Some of the paper you can find from the Staple. I used to use a Cronco um glossy cardstock, but the Cronco glossy cardstock they changed the mail few years ago. So if you have the Cronco over five years old, that's a good Cronco. You can use a water based marker. You can do whatever you like. But if you have a um, they are very super shiny. But if you just buy the new Cronco, they don't really work with the water based uh, uh, markers. But they work with alcohol ink and all kind of distract thing. So, um, just watch the video no,、uh, number one thirty eight. You will get a little bit more information about the paper. For the blending with the magic mushroom, actually, I don't really use the.、Uh, I don't really use the.、Uh, uh, Glossy paper for the blending, they don't really blending well. But that's just my personal preference. So this is the the dark glossy from Marcos or from the paper cut. Because of those kind of glossy paper, they are kind of coated. They work well if you use the brayer. But if you want to do the blending, that's、uh, just、uh, give it a try. 
And then this is, I don't know, is a, maybe hard to see. Sometimes if your table is a little bit dirty, it's kind of hard to see the surface. Sometimes if your table is a little bit dirty, like you use, use eraser or embossing powders or glitter, and then when you do some blending, I always uh, um, remind you when you do the blending, you start from your, your, your table, your scrap paper, right? So sometimes they kind of pick up all those uh, dust embossing powder, uh, powder on your, your uh, magic marshal. So you got to make sure you kind of clean it and then always dry it. Okay, so let's see what the, this is actually uh, paper cut or Marco's dog glossy. The reason I don't really blending on the glossy paper is because they are coated. And then once when you apply the ink on top, the paper will absorb that ink and it kind of seal the surface. Like uh, this, this one, I kind of blending before I start my video. So it has been, it is dry already. And then now, even though they are dry and I want to add a little bit darker red, it's kind of hard. See, even though I use a very, very dark red, let's grab one more darker, let's try the blue. Even I use a very, very darker color, they can, they, they kind of don't absorb anymore. Because the surface is already sealed with the, the, your first color, so they don't really blend in well. But it's good if you want to do, if you want to use the stencil. So you, you want to have those kind of shining finish, okay? And then remember the first coating, the paper kind of seal it. So if you want to, um, create the shining finish and then the best way is to uh, use the stencil you can tap in it and then you can control let me show you what I mean so for this corner I just uh, gently tapping it okay from the on the top is a little bit darker color and on the bottom I kind of really uh, release the pressure my I did that. I just like gently tap, 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 tap. Okay. So if you want it darker, okay. So you ink your sponge. If you want darker, when you heat it, you have to heat hard. Okay. Because when the first time you heat, the paper absorb that ink and then they seal it. Okay, I'm going to show you. So you want to finish uh, um, like those kind of glass finish. You can just use those magic mushroom and uh, tapping is better than circling. Okay, and then please note, once when you have your first layer, like now is my first layer, right? That's what it look like. And then the paper is kind of glossy and finished. And then I put my magic mushroom back. Okay. And then if I use the red color, they are not going to blending the color together. A little bit, not too much. So on the glossy paper, this is what we can do. Okay. And then that's to do, if you do the tapping part, they can tap it actually very smoothly. They don't really show the stroke when you use the regular car stop, right? See, they don't really have the stroke, but the downside is you want to add the darker. Look, I ink my ink and I go back. That's the darkest I can get. They don't really go more darker, but on the regular car stuff, okay. See, if I add more color, 
You can still add the color. That's what you cannot do on the glossy paper. So the glossy paper, because that finish coating is special, and then I am actually working on the other video to show to to show you the col uh, the markers technique. So it really depends on what do you like. So you can use the glossy paper. Let's try one more. Okay. You can use the glossy paper. Okay. They actually you can put um create the sunset looking or anything you like. It's just like uh, once uh, when they absorb that ink and then that's it. No matter how much more color you add it on, they will not become darker. So it's really depend on what kind of effect you're looking for. And then that's the add a little bit orange, see what happened. Well, you can still feel the gap, but that color is just like that. But you can create like a sunset looking or not. So that's what's uh, blending on the glossy paper. When I mean, um, so if you want to do the glossy paper, use the stencil. Using the tapping is a good way to do it. And then if you want to blending, I think on the glossy paper is uh, even like a, a little bit harder. Okay. They don't really blending well. You think they supposed to be like a slipper, right? Let's try a little bit. That kind of nice too, but I can see, you know, on the surface, they don't go like a dark. I can see the surface is kind of very wet. Okay, so this is the, the glossy cardstock. You can use it. It's just uh, not able to get uh, like a very, very dark color. If you want to working on the glossy uh, cardstock, I will recommend you to use a brayer. So that way, if you want like, like a dark color, the brayer, one time when you apply it on top, you will get that dark color. Hoping you find the answer for your question. Okay, so that's everything for today. I'm not sure if you have watched my last video. If you haven't checked out this video, make sure you check it out. It's a very, very cute uh, slide and uh, pop-out car. So thank you for asking the question and I hope uh, I answer all the questions. If you have any question, feel free to leave me a comment and send me an email and I always check my email and I always uh, read my comments. And uh, all the 2021 spring um, new set and new matching die I mailed it last week. Some of you guys already receive it. Good for you. Yay. Start to create some car and do the swap with me. If not, I hope your order will arrive soon. It really depends on your post service. Some of them is fast, some of them is small, uh, slow. I hope you will receive your order soon. And then for the local Kings of 5,000 subscription celebration, that's just put on hold for a while because I want you use what you have first and working on your shopping list. And once uh, when we are ready, I am going to celebrate by um, offer a great promotion for two days only. And then for YouTube viewers, uh, you always will get that extra discount, discount code. Plus that for $50 gift certificate, I am going to pick up the winner. And then um, if you always leave in the comment, you are on the top of the list. They go to the number one fans first. Okay, so this is a list of on low cooking rubber stamp. Thank you so much for watching and I'm working on more video to share with you pretty soon. See you next time. Bye.